technologies. Application of DNA-based information technologies To study the specific function of a gene, protein, to study the organization and the combined effect of all genes, proteins in the cell and on the cell. What is a clone and what is the cloning process? AKA recombinant DNA technology or genetic engineering, a clone is an exact copy of something. What we need, 1, a DNA fragment of interest, 2, a vector, which may or may not have a specific Function, a deliverant tool delivers desired piece of DNA which can replicate when placed in a cell, 3. Restriction endonucleases, 4. A ligase, 5. A host cell, E. coli. Modern cloning is almost always based on PCR. Restriction endonucleases Enzymes that recognize specific sequences, usually 4 to 6 long palindromes, and cleave a DNA into fragments wherever those sequences occur, type 1, type 2, type 3, type 1 restriction endonucleases Cleave at random sites far from the recognized sequence, this type is not used very often. Type 2 Restriction Endonucleases Cleave DNA within the recognized sequence. Type 3 Restriction Endonucleases Cleave DNA about 25 bases away from the recognized site. Steps to cloning 1. The cloning vector, plasmid, is cleaved with restriction endonuclease. 2. DNA fragment of interest is obtained by cleaving chromosome with a restriction endonuclease. 3. DNA ligase is used to bind the DNA fragments and the plasmid together this is now called a recombinant vector. 4. The recombinant vector, our new DNA, is now introduced to the host cell, usually E. coli. 5. Propagation, cloning, produces many copies of recombinant DNA. Methylation Regulates the function of endonucleases The generated ends which are cut by restriction endonucleases can be blank. Blunt or sticky, the blunt ends are not specific, enzymes that cut with the same sticky ends can anneal together. DNA ligase connects to DNA fragments with compatible ends in an ATP-dependent manner. Cloning vectors A vector helps the delivery and the use of a DNA fragment, types, plasmid, bacteriophage. BAC, YAC, for storage and replication, for expression, expression vectors, cell, organism. Specific variety of vectors all have or a cloning sites and a selection gene. Plasmid
circular DNA, 5,040,000 BP long, separate from the bacterial chromosome, can be used as a cloning vector. Super complicated flowchart about transforming and cloning cells. Transfection Transfection is the process of deliberately introducing nucleic acids into EUKARYOTIC cells. Transduction Using a virus as a vector to transfer DNA into a bacteria. Bacteriophages can be used as a cloning vector this process is called transduction the bacteriophage lambda has a very precise way of delivering only 40,000 53,000 bp fragments of dna strategy exchange the non-essential phage dna with a dna of interest up to 23,000 bp only the 40,000 to 53,000 base pairs fragments will be packaged Bacterial artificial chromosomes Plasmids allowing cloning of very long DNA fragments 100,000-300,000 BP Study mechanism in Image, which one do you select, the blue or the white? Answer, blue. Yeast artificial chromosomes Vectors allowing cloning of extremely long DNA fragments up to 2 million BP. These are difficult vectors to work with. Initially, it is circular in order to be propagated as a bacterial plasmid. DNA hybridization any two complementary nucleic acid strands will anneal, but this approach is very outdated because genomes are already sequenced, so this is really not necessary. Probe Labeled, typically radioactive, DNA or RNA fragment with a known sequence, can use an agar plate. And press on the nitrocellulose paper then incubate paper with radioactive probe and then wash the probe will anneal to colonies of interest, then expose x-ray film to paper to see colonies of interest. Expression vectors Designed for a particular cell type that you want to be expressed because these vectors have regulatory cell-specific sequences, promoters, ECT, contain cell, organism-specific regulatory elements, promoters, regulatory sequences, ribosomal binding sites, termination sequence. Resistance genes, in addition to ORI, MCS and bacterial resistance gene. How do we deliver expression vectors? Chemical transformation, transfection, transfection, viral, electrification, viral. Infection or transduction. Oligonucleotide. A short DNA fragment that can be synthesized by a machine. What are ways that we can alter genes, proteins, 
1. Site directed mutagenesis, 2. Fusion protein, 3. Tagged proteins. Why would we want to alter genes? To study the importance of certain areas in the genes. Site directed mutagenesis. What is a common way to use fusion proteins? Potential problems. Creating a GFP fusion protein in order to trace its localization because it luminesces. Potential problem could be improper folding. Tagged proteins. A short peptide sequence that encodes a recognition site, epitope, for an antibody, typically fused to a protein of interest for detection or purification by the antibody, an extremely useful technique for studying protein-protein interactions. Types of DNA Libraries 1. Genomic 2. cDNA. cDNA. Everything that has been expressed, so cDNA of a neuron versus muscle cell would be very different. How is a genomic library built? Simply cutting genome and putting it all together, we can order the BAC clones of a DNA library by lining them up by their markers. How do we construct a cDNA library? From mRNA, the steps in the image above happen, then, the duplex DNA produced by this method is inserted into an appropriate cloning vector, reverse transcriptase can synthesize DNA on an RNA or DNA template. PCR Template, primers, DNTPS, heat stable DNA polymerase, right conditions, very sensitive. How can the DNA amplified by PCR be cloned? After the steps above are completed, cleavage of the amplified fragments at these sites creates Sticky ends, which can be used in the ligation of the amplified DNA to a cloning vector. Applications of PCR <laughs> 
1. Cloning 2. Revolutionized sequencing The human genome completed April 2003 3. Forensic medicine DNA fingerprinting When would we refer to a cDNA library as opposed to a genetic library? When looking at or comparing a specific tissue, Southern blotting. PCR and short tandem repeats. Small repeating sequences of DNA found in the human genome used in DNA fingerprinting, we can use PCR to amplify a segment of DNA that includes the repeat region. The fragments can be run a capillary gel and analyzed. PCR fragments run on a capillary gel. This requires multiple sets of primers with dyes so we can differentiate, then we can analyze the multiplex pattern.